No, you're not, you little bastard! I'm King Ross, and you're my loyal subjects, and here are all the WTF moments from WWE NXT TakeOver The End! Which isn't really the end of anything, apart from Joe Balua, maybe. Corey Graves is speaking about the long-awaited debut of Andrade Cien Almas. Now, I don't know if Kevin Dunn works on NXT shows, but if he did, he put a picture of Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Austin Aries up on the screen. You f***ed up, Kev. You f***ed up. Graves then goes on to talk about the superstars who have debuted at NXT TakeOver shows and the success they've gone on to. Baron Corbin? Fair enough. Kevin Owens? Hey, he's done well. But Nakamura? He's had a few main events against Elias Samson and he's back on NXT TakeOver again. He hasn't gone very far at all, has he, Corey? Think about it, you stupid, good-looking, quiffy man. Look at that there. They're still calling Lita a diva in the name slate thingies. Corey Graves is back again. We're not going to make a clock for him because I like him. He should be with Mauro Ronaldo on SmackDown when it debuts live on July 19th. But he says that Nia Jax has never faced anybody like Asuka. And to steal something from Impractical Jokers, I'm going to say to you, Corey. Well, she has. Five times. I've done a bit of research. You should do some too. Lita's back again and she says that Nia Jax and Asuka are the two biggest female superstars we've ever seen in an NXT ring. Shut up, man, you silly goose. Sasha Banks and Bailey for me any day of the week. Stupid red hair, flippy floppy moron. And while we're on about Lita, was she pissed on the pre-show last night? She was stumbling all over her words. She couldn't remember Andrade Cien Almas's name when he was just mentioned a couple of seconds before. She had a right nightmare. I doubt she'll ever get invited back, she was that bad. Just stick to the flips and the flops and whatnot. Why was all the attention on your boy Finn Balor's lack of cage match experience in NXT? Samoa Joe's never had one in an NXT ring either. That means one thing, TNA were getting subliminally mentioned on a WWE show. So you know how that Will Griggs song goes, Americans you probably don't, but I don't care about you. Here goes something, we'll try something new this week. Dixie's on fire, Vince McMahon is terrified, na 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 WTF is she doing on there, the little sh What the f*** has Izzy got to do with NXT history? Nothing! I don't want to see her crying, as funny as it is. I just don't want to see her. Get rid of her. The end is near! Goes something like that, doesn't it? Who would have thought the Armageddon theme would get a run out on NXT TakeOver last night? Not me. It's got me to thinking. Could there be a lorry full of sawdust next to the cage for the main event? Probably not, you know, but a man can dream. What on earth was Andrade Cien Almas wearing during his entrance? He looked like the result of an orgy between the Godfather, Elmando Estrada, and someone who wore braces in WWE history who I can't quite remember the name of. One heart, maybe? Anyway, he looks sh Now I know American Alpha's singlets were a bit trippy and whatnot, but Jesus Christ, was I seeing stars at one point during the show? Kevin! Kevin! Pick your game up. WTF moments aren't always bad things, you know. Man likes good wrestling. And that sequence of events that got to that double ankle lock from American Alpha? By Jovi, it was lovely, wasn't it? Thrilling action. It's only stunning Steve Austin. Look at that there. Why would you rock a haircut like that in 2016? God, someone needs to let him know he looks like a bit of a twat. The Revival won fair and square against American Alpha. Who saw that coming? Certainly not me, but I guess it's Triple H's polite way of saying Dash and Dawson or Wilder or whatever the names are. You're not quite ready for the main roster yet, lads. Just keep working hard next to you. Put them back in their place, they're stupid. We're going rapid fire on WTF moments. What the f*** are they? What the f*** is Jason Jordan doing there? And what the f***? Is Paul Element doing there? And why the f did those smarks in the crowd not know who he was? Oof, when you sit down and get a bit of a head rush after that, bloody hell. But though, but, 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 Paul Ellering in the NXT Universe's reaction to him has given me the best moment of the night so far. Who would have thought this right? It's Jonathan Clark on NXT, and he's not even on the show. E God, I could not be happier. Oh. JBL took to Twitter to say that there was a huge pop for Ellering turning up, even though there wasn't. 
There was nothing. It was crickets. The crowd even was saying, who are you? At Paul. Poor Paul. John then followed that up by saying that pop was just from John himself. Nah, no, you can't go back on that one, John, you stupid idiot. I tell you what, that uh, John O'Clock enter was a bit fancy, wasn't it? Big Bob Dalstrom made that for me. Nice, isn't it? Get used to seeing that. I know you love it though, Maggle. Why, at least Damien Sandow's managed to find work quickly after his WWE release, and who would have thought that he's a king, just like me in the new Warcraft film? Austin Aries cape is back! Bloody hell, I missed that thing in Dallas. I don't know if you know this, but I'm quite a cape connoisseur myself. And I gave that cape five stars! It's a strong cape game. That cape is on fleek. It's on, an, an on-point cape. I'm not young anymore, I'm a, who am I fooling? But at least I'm giving big Dave Meltzer a run for his money with those five-star ratings. I'm coming for you, Dave, as well. Right then, I've come to the conclusion that Kevin Dunn was not working on NXT TakeOver last night because chants of Shinsuke Bomaye were not muted. If you don't know, Bomaye was the name of Shinsuke's old finisher over in Japan. But it means kill him. So WWE changed it to Kinshasa. You know why it should have been muted then? You're slacking Kevin, if it was you who was working. That might have scared you off, who knows? Fight me, Nakamura Shinsuke cosplay levels. Five stars, 1,000. If Austin Aries ribs are really injured, why the f is he taking huge bumps through the bottom rope onto the guardrail? Surely if your ribs are injured, you're not gonna do those sort of offensive moves. I mean, just a bit of logic. A bit of logic getting in the way of some good wrestling. Oh, stupid logic. I hate logic, me. That Death Valley driver on the apron. Ow! Ooh! Christ, that's how good it was until he knocked me over there. Tom, 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 Tom. Call him that Kinshasa, really. Who do you think you are? Michael Cole, JBL, Byron Saxton. You're better than that. Come on. And good on you, Corey Graves. I love you. Thank you for taking the piss out of Tom for his silly mistake. Yeah. The We Want Eva chance. <sighs> smarks that are like rats. They're everywhere, aren't they? But you can't get rid of them. As good as the NXT crowd can be at times, they can be bloody horrible as well, can't they? Kill them with fire! Oh, maybe not. Don't do that. Now your Jack's lost clean again, which means she's close to becoming the new Bray Wyatt. She's losing far too many rivalries now, and it's just going to kill her. Bray knows what I'm talking about. Just let her win one. Just give her one. Give her a nice win. Go on. Be nice. Bobby Roode's a bit of a tinker, isn't he? Just waltzing into Regal's office like that. WTF does he think he is? The W there meaning who, not what. Aye. That worked. Smooth. Da cage do! Da cage do, fam! Like some sort of Transformers ting. Don't suit that at all, do I? No, nope, not at all. But why does WWE's main roster not do the same thing? It looked bloody awesome! NXT is so much better, isn't it? Why? Why are they doing that, silly, silly buggers? WTF has happened to Neville! The glasses, the beard, the shirt, he's the biggest hipster going! Somebody's wife's dressing them these days. Get those trousers back on your legs, Neville. So apparently the last time your boy Finn Balor wore just black and white paint was his last match in New Japan. Just saying. Just gonna leave that there for you to think about. Money in the bank, maybe, that seventh spot, who knows? So the cage was brought in to keep Joe and Balor away from the fans, just keep them penned in there, but one of the stipulations said they could climb out for the win. That just doesn't make any sense, does it? It's just a bit naff. It just should be left in there just to fight until they die. That's how they do things on my estate. I kill everybody. I kill them hard. Right then, on to that Triple H interview after the show where he said that NXT is no longer developmental. It's its own brand. And with this brand extension coming, what the f does that mean? Bit of a tease you are, Triple H, bit of a tease. And then Hunter Hearst Helmsley, or Katie Vick's lover on the weekends, went on to say that he's looking forward to seeing what the authors of Pain bring to the table. That'd be Pain. They're called the authors of Pain. Pain is their game. Pain. So that's it for all the WTF moments from WWE NXT TakeOver The End. But that's not it for this video because I have a big announcement to make. Sammy boy, come with me. Wait, what? 
Come with me, f***ing get here now. Come on. Hello again. You've probably realized by now that I'm not only the king of WTF, but I'm also the king of the north, east. So I brought you here to the northeast leading landmark, the Angel of the North. A lot of north there, isn't there? It's very nice, the north. Come visit it sometime. Yeah. But anyway, I've got a huge announcement to make. I've been called into battle on behalf of St. George. I'm off to France tomorrow to kill people. To kill people at football. Yeah, be scared, France and all the other European countries, because I'm coming for you. But before I go headfirst into battle, I must make a bit of a wardrobe change and don the battle thing. Because that's what you wear in battle. Not this, it's too nice. Give us a hand, will you, Sam? All right. That's right, St. George's flag, spiffy, hey? I look gorgeous. But anyway, I'm ready for battle now, so it's time to go. Got me scepter to hit people with. Bye-bye.